biking across the state and picking up a hammer along the way. Nonprofit organization Bike and Build, going from coast to coast on bikes, helping build affordable housing with organizations in different states like Habitat for Humanity, Southwest Alabama. This whole goal is I had the idea of raising funds and awareness for affordable housing. So it was just a handful of people that really cared about it and a Habitat that decided that they really wanted to support it. So they decided to raise funds and go across the country working with different build sites. 21 cyclists starting their journey in Jacksonville, Florida. Now they're here in Mobile helping to work on these two houses before hitting the road again. We're going to be fencing in the uh, perimeter of both these houses. Um, we're going to be doing some touch up paint, um, some little things inside to finish up so we can get our insulation put in. Habitat for Humanity Executive Director Courtney Rouse Hines says Bike and Build has been helping them out with projects for at least 10 years. We're so blessed to have them come out today um, and get a bunch of work done. Before embarking on their tedious but rewarding journey, there was lots of training and sweat involved. So for biking, we had to train 500 miles. Before even starting riding, we did a whole safety training for the build part of our trip. We volunteered for sweat equity hours, 15 hours before coming here. This is their fifth project so far. The cyclists still have a ways to go. Their final destination, Santa Barbara, California. It's just really been a pleasure to meet all these new people and new communities and like work with all these different um, affordable housing organizations and I don't know, just like they care so much about the issue and so it's really fun to see that passion. Bike and Build will work on 22 job sites and travel a total of 4,000 miles by the end of their trip. Gianni Navarro, Fox 10 News.